guys, my name is Jason and I want to talk to you all today about the new Set Power PT series. This is the 35 liter, there is also a 45 liter and a 55 liter as well. Now I've had three different fridges from Set Power. Uh, this is the third one. I had a Set Power RV45D, a Set Power RV45S, and now the PT35. So this one is 10 liters smaller than my other ones, but I wanted to test out a smaller one because a lot of people told me that the 45s were not what they needed. So I figured I might as well go ahead and test this one out. I've had this for about the last month now and I've really liked it. This one actually has two separate bins that you can open and use as a fridge and a freezer, a freezer and a freezer, or a fridge and a fridge. So far, I have only used this as a fridge. I did get this down to freezer temperature just to test it out. I don't often bring frozen food with me camping, so uh, I haven't really um, tested that too much outside of the one time that I brought the temperature down. Now I have this on a fridge slide. This is not a fridge slide from Set Power, but they do make fridge slides and uh, I have not tested theirs out, but they have specific fridge slides for their fridges. This fridge is pretty much the culmination of all of the things that I liked about both the RV45D and the RV45S kind of combined into one. It's got the plastic outside just like my RV45D, it's got the metal here that you can put lights on, magnets, stuff like that. It's got the dual zones. It has the nicer handles on it. And um, I think the profile just fits a lot of things a little bit better. So if you get a larger size of this, they will actually just get taller and uh, not wider. So I could fit the 55 on this fridge slide if I really wanted to. But I wanted to test out the 35 because at one point I did try out the RV60D and that was just way more than I needed, but it was still an all around really great fridge. All right, so one of the things I like to do before I go on a trip is to pre-chill my fridge. This is something I would recommend doing no matter the brand that you have. That way when you're putting all of your stuff inside your vehicle, um, this is already cold, so you're not putting like meat into a warm fridge and waiting for it to uh, cool down. So basically the lights are on, this is plugged in, but I have not turned this on. It is at room temperature. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn this on and we'll see how long it takes to get to 37 is what I'm gonna put it at. So 64-ish right now. So we're gonna go ahead and close these up. So it is 151 right now. We'll see how long it takes to get this down to about 37 is where I like to keep mine um, when I'm on trips. 38 or below is uh, a very good number to have. So let's go ahead and see how long this takes. 37 here at 211. This one is about to go down. This is the smaller bin here. You can hear the compressor kicking on now. All right, it is 218 now and we have it at 36 and 37. I ended up dropping this one down because it is realistic that you'll have one a little bit cooler than the other one, so I did drop it down a little bit. So now at 218, 219, um, we are getting lower temperatures here, and uh, you know we could go back up to 37 there. Um, you would be good to go here. You know, it would warm up a little bit when you open these up and put your stuff in there, but um, you are going to be a lot more safe doing this um, than just kind of turning it on and putting all your stuff in there because you don't want your food to go um, above a certain temperature when you're about to run this. So because a lot of you guys asked me last time how I put this in the slide, um, this isn't a slide that they make, but um, they do make a slide for uh, some of the other ones. I don't know the sizes off the top of my head, but I'm sure they will make a slide for this one. The one I have here is very expensive, but um, it will work. So let me go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to put this on pretty much any slide out there. So at that point, all you're gonna do is take this, Then all you're going to do is take these here
and it's pretty solid. All you gotta do is do the same on the back and you are good to go. You got a fridge slide. That way you don't have to reach back to get stuff. Although you can still do that. You can just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out and see how accurate the measurements are online because you guys seem to like that in the last video. So let's go ahead and look at it. Looking at just under 24 and a half inches here. We are at either 17.1 or 17.2. Looks like 15.7 on that one. On the inside here, we're looking at, it looks like 13.1 or 13.2 roughly. Across here, we're looking at 10 and a half. Looks like 11.4 here. Now on the back opening here, seven point six, same as across here. And the height on this back one looks like about six point four inches back there. There is a PT three five, PT four five, and PT five five. I went with the PT three five because. I just thought it might be nice to try out a shorter, maybe a little bit smaller one to see, you know, what works for people. The PT45 is pretty similar inside to the uh, RV45 that I had before. So while I liked the RV45D that I had before, as well as the RV45S, I did want to try out the PT35 because people had told me that, um, the smaller size was really all they need, so I wanted to just see what that was like. I didn't want to keep trying 45 liter um, fridges over and over again, so uh, that is why I went with the PT35. So overall, my thoughts on the PT is that this is probably going to end up being my new fridge. I have moved my RV45D into my office, so I'm using it there. Um, you know, it's more of a little bit of a prop there, but I do use it as a fridge. So this will be my new fridge for my vehicle. It is a nice low profile here so I can see out of the back really easily. It's very slim and very compact while still maintaining a very thick wall here so it keeps everything cool. I especially like the layout of the buttons and the uh, screen being here very close to the back where the cord is so that I can still see this while I'm looking from the back. Whereas on other models, if I wanted the cord to be out of the back, I had to look back here to see it, or I had to have it on the front and have the cord coming out of the front. I think for what I have, this is the perfect fridge and it's quite possible that it could be the perfect fridge for you. We'll have a discount code that you guys can check out below. And that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.